Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is going to be a playthrough of Galactic Conflict in Star Wars Empire at War. Now, this is the gold pack. I got it from a uh, Humble Bundle. So I do have the uh, expansion pack for... Um, the Zahn cons Consortium uh, faction, but I'm choosing not to use it because, for one thing, it makes things much more complicated, and for two, I don't know for certain whether that's even canon anymore. So, in honor of Rogue One coming out, I thought I would throw this out here, do a quick run through and try and take over the galaxy. Now, I am playing as the Empire because I do get some satisfaction out of stomping out the rebel scum. So, let's get this thing started. Okay, stack that up. Send him over here. Now, real quick, Boba Fett has stealth means that nobody else can see him, so I can send him places and scout out what's going on. I can also send him to places and have him murder uh, rebel officers or rebel heroes. But it takes him out of the game for a little while. Okay. The Emperor. Now, he cuts all the production costs of everything on the planet that he's on or in the space that he's in uh, by 25%, so I like to try and keep him moving around as much as possible to cut down on the production costs overall. Okay, Iriadu. Okay, throw down light vehicle factory. Throw down one mining facility. And then I'm going to move him into his own fleet, and Grand Moff Tarkin can be in that fleet. So, I need to move the Emperor. Keep him moving. Manan. Where's Manan? Okay. So, that's now a rebel planet. Okay, so Corellia does not have a barracks yet, and it's only a four-slot planet, so I can't really afford to throw down mining facilities on it, even though mining facilities make money. Sorry, still getting used, uh, getting used to the uh, hotkeys again. All right. Over to Kuat. Unfortunately, Kuat is not in the hyperspace lane, so it, it's slow getting to it and getting out of it. And Kuat's even worse than Corellia. It's only a three slot, so I'll throw down a barracks and then move on to Kessel, the prison planet, or asteroid, really. And it's only a two slot. So. You know what? I'm going to go with the heavy vehicle factory here and the level three space station because it's not easy to defend Kua or um, Kessel. Uh, so I want to get as much firepower on as possible, as fast as possible. And send him over here. Have them build a couple of stormtrooper battalions. Along with light vehicle factory. And one mining facility. And send him over to Fresia. 
Now, once the stormtroopers are done on Alderaan, I'm going to send them over to Kessel so that they have a better garrison. Because the rebels do have the ability to attack planets directly, avoiding all space combat. So, Fresia. It's one of the border worlds, or at least that's the way I see it. Um, you can't go from Alzok 3 to Manan. So, the border comes straight down here to Kessel, and you can't go from Korriban to Mon Calmari. So, the border for this sector is really from Kessel to Karita, and we control it. So, I typically set up uh, the best defenses I can on these four planets so that they can throw as much as they want at it, and they can't break through. And, as a consequence, it also protects Coruscant, which is a very powerful planet because it has eight slots available. So you can throw down uh, you know two or maybe even three mining facilities on it and then a lot of your tech stuff. Oh, I forgot about Nalhuda. Now, Nalhuda you can't get to from Ryloth, so it is completely cut off from the rest of my forces, so the only way to keep it is to try and build as much as possible on here as early as possible, and since we can't get to it, I can't use the Emperor to cut down on the cost. So, Fresia, Alderaan, okay, we did build on Alderaan, so... Let's move on to Anaxis. Like I said, another border world, and I need to build a heavy factory here so I can get to the orbital orbital defenses. And it's only got a tier one space station, which is very not good. So let's move on to Karita. Oh, and I can move you up here, because Alderaan, at the moment, cannot be gotten to unless they get through one of my other planets. Same goes for Coruscant and Ilum. So, let's send Ilum's stuff over here and get to building on Karita. Unfortunately, we're not making a whole lot of money and we're almost out. So, honestly, at this point, I really need to make something a little more powerful than a gunboat or a missile boat. So we'll send that over there. We'll move him over to Coruscant and... Okay, so we just got our money for the week. Or the day, excuse me. So let's go down here to Coruscant build those first. Okay, and we can move the stormtroopers over to Kessel. And move Coruscant's garrison up to Karita because all they have is stormtroopers. Okay, mission log. Neutralize a rebellion hero with Boba Fett on Mon Calmari. Okay, so we move Boba Fett over to Mon Calmari onto Neutralize Hero. Okay. Build a tier two station. Oh, that's right. Um, I can move Ilum's garrison onto Abrogado Ray. Because uh, in the past, I've had a lot of trouble keeping the rebels from attacking that with their sneak attacks. So we just killed the re rebel hero with 
Boba Fett and got a thousand credits for it. But now he's on cooldown. So let's go to Biss with the Emperor. And tier two station, light vehicle factory. We're still running low on money. Coralog. Okay, got our day's money. I think we can afford to throw down a mining station here on Coralog. So we'll make a couple of more stormtroopers. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with the tier three station here. And move on to Abrogado Ray, which only has a three slot on the planet, which is not great. So, Light Factory. On to Fondor, which has no space station. Throw down a barracks. Now, the good news about Fondor is that, like some of the other planets, it cannot be reached except through another one of my planets. You can't go from Polis to Fondor. So, I can move the f space forces here. I'm going to move them to Thyphera and move these over to Taurus and move the Emperor to Thyphera. Anything I can do with 900 credits? Oh! It has no space station. That's just wonderful. So, Light Vehicle Factory... And move on. Waiting on the money. Okay. Now, Huda. I don't have any money, unfortunately. So I just have to wait. Because honestly, I need to protect this planet because of how many slots it has available and how unprotectable it really is. I mean, most of the time I lose Nalhutta. Most of the time that's just the way it is. It's out in the middle of nowhere. I can't get reinforcements to it. The only way to keep it alive is to build on it, and you can't move the Emperor in there to save yourself any money. So it's kind of a... it's a losing battle. Now, if you can keep a hold of it, it's great, because eight slots on the ground lets you build a lot of tech, build money, and if you can keep it, it can support a five tier or tier five space station, and you can get the uh, orbitable... orbitable... I keep saying orbitable... Uh, orbital defenses so that it's incredibly secure. And then later on, you can take some planets to link up so that it can be reinforced quite easily. Unfortunately, right now, we're kind of stuck on, you know, what we have at the moment. Uh, we're slowly building up extra money. We are almost done with the first round of running the Emperor around. And fortunately, the Rebels haven't done anything too aggressive yet. So, Tier 2 Factory. Build that while we're here. Move over to Taurus. And of 
course, it doesn't have a space station either. Now, I'm going to wait here with the Emperor and hopefully be able to build, start building a Tier 2 station here before I move on. New mission, Imperial Traitor, Conquif Conquify. Conquer the specified planet to capture the traitor. Conquer Mon Calmari to get 3,000 credits. Now, Mon Calmari, you know, there's a direct route from Kessel to Mon Calmari, but that would be... F for me, m my strategic mind says that's a waste of time right now because it would overextend your uh, front line. Because it would mean getting an army together to go over to Mon Calmari to take it when, at the moment, we are fairly secure. You know? From Corita to Kessel, from Kessel to Corellia, that's a good border. Um, you know, once we can take Sullust, we can move uh, all of, you know, Ebergado Ray, Cor Coralog, Bis, move that out so that our border becomes a lot better. And then there are a couple of planets like Alzac 3 and Polis that we can take and then move all the forces that we have to surround it with onto another planet, like uh, Polis, for example. Once we take Polis, I can move all my forces down to Endor so that we can hop over to Atzeri and basically do uh, what the American Navy did in World War II in the Pacific and island hop, only in this uh, instance it would be system hopping. It's just uh, we have to build up our forces beforehand and you know make a move in a strategic fashion and hope that the rebels don't get any crazy ideas because um, they have a really good ability that uh, they can attack a planet directly with ground forces and not have to deal with the space forces. So you have to worry about your ground uh, garrison and your space garrison because they can attack from there or they can go directly at the planet. And if you lose the planet, you basically have a space force uh, in space around the planet and you lose your space station, however big it was, and whatever you spent on the planet. It, it really sucks to lose a planet that way. So, building Tier 2 Station on Taurus. Okay, we've got a Tier 2 Station built on Thyphira, so let's move on to Endor. And how much can we do on Endor with only 700 credits? Now, Endor is fairly secure. It's got a Tier 2 station already, and it's got a regular Victory Class cruiser, which is a very powerful unit, and you don't get a whole lot of them early on, and they're quite expensive to build early on. It's got a good garrison, so it's got a barracks and a light factory. We don't have enough money to build a heavy factory. But it's almost the end of the day, so we should be getting our money here soon. Okay, we've got our money. So, we've got our money now, so let's build on Endor. Heavy factory... That's all we really need to do on Endor right now, so let's move over to Bestine. Okay, good garrison, decent space force, tier 2 station, so let's just go with the heavy factory, and Ryloth is the only one we haven't visited yet. So let's get the Emperor down there, and start building a couple of things down here. Okay, tier 2 station, needs a light vehicle factory... what? Let's build a tier 3 station here. 
And then move the Emperor back up to Corellia. That's another problem with Ryloth, is it's uh, in a similar situation to Nalhutta, but it does have a direct hyperspace route to uh, Corellia. So you can get reinforcements down there quickly, but only through Corellia. Let's see, what is Nalhutta building? And I can't really afford anything. Let's uh, get the long-range sensors built there. Ah, Boba Fett's back. So let's move him over to Sullust again. I like to have Sullust uh, scouted because it's a uh, prime target for uh, early invasion. That way we can secure our border through here instead of having to have three different planets uh, garrisoned up so that they can't attack from Sullust. But uh, let's get our money for the next day and I will end the episode here. So this is the first episode in the series. Uh, I'm going to go all the way through to uh, Galactic Unification stomp out the rebel scum so hopefully you guys will stick with me uh you know go out and see uh, rogue one just like me you know i'm excited for it i hope you guys are too and as my tribute i hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked what you saw hit that like and subscribe button for me and i will see you in the next video